Hello everyone, my name is Brennan Whitaker, but you probably know from the channel, and Hollywood is a place of bad ideas and lazy choices, but if I were to ask you, what's the first actual sign of this, what would you say? Is it the trailer as the first sign? No. Is it the actor interviews that are the first sign? Still no. The real answer is the movie posters. For years, Hollywood has used this split-screen, side-by-side poster as a cheap way of portraying what will be seen. It's basic, lifeless, and gives nothing to look forward to. It's a borderline scapegoat for when you have no idea what the fuck is going to happen in your film. And this can be for anyone in charge or for the people who work on these things, because, of course, different people, separate committees, or however you want to call it. No. Video game adaptations, they just have it the worst. Definitely because, not, not even probably, it's definitely because executives have no idea what the games look like. They have no idea how they play or what happens in them. It's the easiest way to show what will be in them. If you see your favorite character in it, well, uh, I guess I'll watch it then because I, I recognize it. So maybe it'll be good. It's not good. It's not good. When is it ever good? You know, this poster, it's... A pseudo Rorschach test for audiences to interpret what the side by side means, which, of course, some people will defend this because of that. You know, they'll say, no, 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 it's to show the good and bad side of a person. It's like Jekyll and Hyde. It's, you know, it's it's the, the yin and the yang, the sides of the same coin. No, it's just lazy. It's been done for years. It's a bullshit argument and it should just be shot down immediately. If anyone ever says this. If, if you bring this up to anyone and they say this, just tell them, nope, this doesn't work because, well, for one, not every single thing that has the uh, split personality thing uh, does this. Things that don't have the Jekyll and Hyde characteristics in them do this. No. And I'll say this. Every poster I've shown you either has a better alternative or can have a better alternative. Take Batman v Superman, for example. Now, I said in the past that Batman v Superman is great. Of course, it has problems, but it's great. Zack Snyder just doesn't give the credit he, he doesn't get the credit he deserves. But I'll admit, the posters used for this, they're mitts and match. And on the left, you know, it tries to have a little bit of nuance with, you know, the, the sort of tears to show that Batman's staring through. But nonetheless, it's still that side-by-side -side laziness split screen. Now, on the right is a poster, another one they use, which perfectly summarizes Batman v Superman. It's dramatic, there's chaos and destruction everywhere, and it's Batman and Superman fighting to the death. And, yeah, that's what happens in it. It's a perfect presentation or representation whichever word you want to use of what happens in the film so thank god they didn't just do one and done with this another example is civil war now civil war has a lot of resources since it came from a comic book now that be superman it, it's not technically not a comic book they kind of have to make stuff up as they go along but civil war however no it is the name of the comic book so they have a lot to work with. And if you've read Civil War, if, if you own the comic, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Pages upon pages, not even just the pages, the covers of the books just work on their own. You know, you, you brought Spider-Man in, but you didn't use anything for Spider-Man. It's ridiculous. And then the third example is the Joker. Now, yeah, Joker's good, Joker's good. But the posters... It sort of lies to you. What I mean by that is, on the left side, of course, it's trying to do the Jekyll and Hyde thing where oh, one side is really him, but the other side is not him. But that's not true. Joker has always been Joker with or without the makeup. If you've seen Joker, you know that. It doesn't matter if he has the makeup or not. He still has the problems that he has because, you know, the makeup didn't make him the person he is. It's his condition, his disorder. Okay. Spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't seen Joker. He kills his mom without the makeup. Because that's who he is. The makeup does not make him who he is. It's more of a, an act. It's it's showmanship. You know, performance. So this poster 
on the left is lying to you basically about how it works that is not the dynamic no arthur fleck is joker not because of the makeup but because of his upbringing you know the memes society and thank god they have the alternative of you know the best scene in the whole thing but the one thing that everyone remembers from it other than the you get what you fucking deserve thing but uh never mind though you you get it that being said Hollywood, it's not woke. It's creatively bankrupt. The wokeness is merely a default for most people because they don't have the talent, the means, or the resources that don't cost $200 million to make something good. Trust me when I say this, Hollywood wouldn't be good if it wasn't woke. It'd still be shit because it's run by hacks. It would just be a varying degree of shit than the one we have now. Because they don't bring in anyone who has imagination. They only care about IPs. They know that they can do this brand shit for as long as they can. And just do the lazy shit as long as they can. Because people will clamor to it because this is stuff they recognize. You know, the modern audience. So yeah, whenever someone says, oh, wokeness, that's that's how you'd be it. No, no, Hollywood, it's, it's done. Everyone in there has already made their piece. They know exactly what they're doing. Okay, this is merely... A backdrop. So, when you think of Hollywood and how dried up it is, just remember, the first thing, the actual first thing you see, is this fucking poster. Always. That being said, what are real, what are real, link in the description. Check out my socials, uh, follow me on Rumble, Odyssey, Mine's Locals, I can subscribe, and take care.